morning guys and we are at the butt of Lewis this is the most northerly and most windiest place on the, on the Isle of Lewis just come up to see this, uh, this lighthouse here do a bit of photography around on the coast now we was here earlier well a few days ago about five four or five days ago <clears throat> and to be honest with you it was so windy when we was having this uh, this gal thing like the country but I've got to be honest with you it was that windy um, I got out of the van and sort of got straight back in it because it was not a nice feeling when you when, when you can feel that it's about to blow you off your feet and I do mean I was thinking I was going to be blowing off my feet so <clears throat> we get it uh, we get it neck for the day didn't uh, didn't stop at all and then we've seen the forecast this morning saying that it was going to be a reasonably calm day for this part of the country so we've come back up and I've got to be honest with you I mean if you can see over there you can still see all the waves crashing up the way crashing up the up the rocks same as here look some massive waves coming in but saying that I can stand up in it and I think I will get some photography done today from around this area okay there's the lighthouse as I've already shown you I think now what's unusual about this lighthouse compared to other lighthouses on on this island is that this one's been made out of red brick and as a rule they ain't there you go that's a long way down there guys that's going to spoil your day if you're be feeling off that and like I said the other day <coughs> there's a path here and I looked at it the other day and there's no way I'd have attempted to walk across it because well like I've already said the wind was just unbelievably strong ain't worth your life for a photograph or a bit of vlogging there you go right I'm just going to have a quick show round here and then I'm going to switch you off I hope you can hear me because it is, it is windy even though it ain't as windy as it has been it is still windier and my hands and froze there's little places here where you can sort of get onto the edge of if you're stupid enough and I ain't but as you can see there guys you see, look at the waves over there they're them crashing against the the rocks that's giving you some idea what the wind's still like and the swell on the on the sea is well, brilliant to be honest I think it's brilliant anyway I'm going to switch you off catch you in a bit oh. Really, 50 shutter speed, really, 50 in a second just to catch 
some of the movement in some of these uh, in these big waves. Uh, so I'm on F11, ISO 64, Mach 50 of a second. I'm just waiting for the for the big waves to hit the back of the rock and stray up from behind. There you go. Here comes one now. Ooh. I'm trying to capture these and then what we'll do is maybe uh, one or two of us have to go to see if we get some more than that so we've got a big splash on the, on the right and we've got it on the left as well whereas in reality we're going to get some much more than the other It's bitterly cold here today. The wind actually bad as well, it has been, but it's still, it's not really like much too Celsius on the way up here, so with a little bit of a breeze that we have got with it, you don't be out here too long, I'm telling you. Now guys, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a seal just there in the water. Unbelievable that it can survive in this uh, in these conditions. But there you go. Let's see if I can get a picture of him and meet with the camera. Well, let's get myself comfortable.
the morning guys and welcome back to another one of our days out today we are at the standing stones I ain't gonna try and pronounce it because I'm gonna get it all wrong but we're here to do a bit of photography on him have a look at him make a day of it I think everything's shut again mind you like I keep saying we mean we mean December now, so I guess it'll all be shut. But we'll have a look around here. Tickets, I don't know if you've got tickets to get in. Oh, it is open for uh, cups of tea and stuff, so yeah. Perhaps we'll come back in a minute. Let's go and have a look. See what it's all about. Time to see these standing stones. There are loads of them. Let's start down the bottom here. Got new buildings being built around the area, so given time. And when you do the photography, you can have new buildings in the uh, in the frame. So, yeah. Guess if you shoot the other way, you're going to be shooting into the sun, so at least you're going to get no buildings in. Well, that's a, this shooting into the sun this time of the day. Obviously, as the day goes on, the sun will move out the way. back up here and I'll turn it off lovely scenery up here isn't it? yeah you've got a sound circle just up here a sound circle? yeah where it goes over there oh right okay so I've just been informed that there's a stone circle obviously the, the stones got around in a circle no. Morning. So this would be the circle bit, I reckon. Or the inner circle of it. Another photographer there doing the business. Right guys, I'm going to switch you off. And do a few photos. Look at this. I've stood here for a hundred or probably years. over 5,000 years I've been stood here, I've been told. Don't quite know what the purpose of them was, but... It still remains a mystery. Still remains a mystery, I'm told. Dawn's been reading the thing. And I never do. Hence the reason we bring Dawn with us. Because I get all the information. I do the photographs, and Dawn does the information. <laughs> hmm. I think, guys... 
definitely going to turn you off now. Get some photographs done. Speak to you later. stones are an arrangement of standing stones placed in a cruciform pattern with a central stone circle. The stones were erected 5,000 years ago and they predate England's famous Stonehenge monument. They were an important place for ritual activity for at least 2,000 years. It's not known why the stones were erected, but the best guess is that it was a kind of astronomical observatory. The cast and crew of Call the Midwife visited the Outer Hebrides to film their 2019 Christmas special, and the Calanish standing stones featured in the episode.